ahead and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these DIY Tumblr inspired notebooks. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first notebook I'm going to show you guys is this geometric notebook. So all you will be needing is a spiral notebook, some spare magazines, some glue, scissors, and a paintbrush. So I'm starting out by using an X-Acto knife and a ruler. Basically I'm using these materials to cut out a template for my triangle. Basically you don't have to use these items, you can use a pen and trace them, but I wanted to use an X-Acto knife to make the template and then I just began tracing all the triangles onto the magazine and then I began cutting them out. So now I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm applying the glue onto the surface of the notebook. You want to do sections at a time. So once I have applied the glue to the top of the notebook, I'm going to begin placing the triangles in rows. So the first row, the triangles will be pointing downwards, and the second row, the triangles will be pointing upwards. Make sure to secure the triangles to the surface of the notebook and use extra glue to make sure that they don't fall off. And you're all done. The next notebook is the Tumblr notebook, so all you'll be needing is a spiral notebook, your printer, computer, some glue, and a paintbrush. So I went on to PickMonkey.com and began making a Tumblr collage, and I will make sure to have the link to this collage down below to where you can use it if you want to use it. And I just downloaded a whole bunch of Tumblr pictures and then began placing them any way, shape, or form that I wanted. Saved it and then I printed it out. Now I'm taking my notebook, I am peeling off the extra paper. So using the same technique, I am pouring out the glue onto the surface of the notebook. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush and painting the glue onto the notebook. And then I'm just securing the piece of paper onto the notebook to make this super cute Tumblr inspired notebook. And to make sure that the edges don't peel up, I am just taking some more glue and putting some glue onto the edges of the paper. So now for the ombre notebook, you will need chalk pastels, glue, a paintbrush, baby wipes, and a notebook of course. So I'm taking my chalk pastels and I'm coloring a piece of cardstock with the chalk pastels. I'm using red, orange, and yellow to make the ombre effect, but you can use any sort of colors that go with each other. Make sure to color the paper vigorously so that you have a lot of the pigmentation on the paper. Now I'm taking my baby wipe and wiping down the cardstock to blend the colors together. And repeat these steps a couple of times to get the desired color effect. And lastly, we are just going to secure the little paper to the surface of the notebook. And because these 
composition books are smaller, you are going to need some scissors to cut off the excess because I'm pretty sure that the cardstock will not fit your notebook completely, so just make sure you have some scissors on hand to cut off the excess. And that's how you make the ombre notebook. And now for the emoji notebook, you'll be needing a composition book, computer, printer, glue, and a paintbrush. So I did the same thing as before. I went on to PickMonkey.com and began making this emoji days of the week kind of thing. They put these on t-shirts, mugs, bags, all these other things. So I decided to make my own custom notebook like those. And once I had made the little paper to go with it, I printed it out and began sizing it onto the notebook because I'm going to need to cut off the excess. And like before, I'm just painting the glue onto the notebook and then securing the paper to the notebook. And just make sure that you let the glue dry because if you don't, it'll rip the paper like I did. So make sure that the glue is nice and dry before you be began cutting because you will rip it. So that's all the notebooks I'm going to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos.